On to our weekly feature, Smart Farm. And smallholder farmers in Kenya contribute up to 70% of the country's food supply in spite of their small operational scale. Now, however, these farmers face many challenges, including access to finance, quality inputs, and market access. It is against this backdrop that agricultural stakeholders are now rooting for the establishment of aggregation hubs to address such challenges and enable them to maintain their ventures. Now, our very own Dennis Satino tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Need to purchase farm inputs like certified seeds, fertilizers or insecticides and are low on cash? Get a financial boost from Equity. Dial star 247 hash, use Equity mobile app, your Equity line or visit any Equity branch to apply and get a loan today. The University of Nairobi is a key part of the capital and is considered a beacon of innovation and collaboration. But within this institution, an aggregation hub stands as a melting pot of ideas and technological advancements. We are calling it a fresh produce aggregation and distribution hub. Uh, this has been occasioned by the need to link farmers, smallholder farmers in rural areas to markets in urban areas. So what we have here is uh, uh, facilities that will help us to receive produce from farmers, uh, add some value to them, and then distribute. Aggregation refers to a process of providing order and interactions between smallholder farmers with a goal of introducing them into formal supply chains. We are showcasing how um, value chain actors in the horticulture industry, particularly in the vegetables sector, can aggregate, uh, store and market um, their products. Having set up an aggregation hub, the institution has provided a platform that guarantees preservation and market access of produce from its farms, as well as those from other urban farmers. Equipped with cold storage facilities, this hub has helped farmers aggregate their produce with the goal of achieving the large quantity demanded by traders. Basically, our markets are not structured. So farmers do not have a way of aggregating their produce and eventually identifying markets. So what we want to demonstrate here is how you can link up to markets and at the same time add value. The center is designed to have four produce handling sections. First, a receiving and preparation area where produce received from the farm is received and prepared. The second is a display and sales area where customers get to see the produce available at the hub. Third is a temporary storage area awaiting collection by customers. And finally, a cold room where produce can be stored and removed in batches depending on customer orders. We lose a lot of these leafy vegetables. Actually, we talk about 40 to 50 percent is wasted. Yeah, because of, you know, these leafy vegetables have a shelf life of one day. If you harvest them, you must sell. If you don't sell, they're going to wilt and unsellable. So with the cold room, we can extend the marketing period yeah, and minimize losses. With this kind of uh, linkage, we can offtake from the farmers, provide market for them, reduce losses at the farm level, but also reduce losses at the market level. For aggregation to take effect and succeed, the vegetable farmers have to focus on amount and quality of resources they have pulled together. Fruits and vegetables are a key component of nutritious and healthy diets. In Kenya, however, less than 10% of the population consume the recommended amounts of fruits and vegetables. The introduction of aggregation centers such as this is among the interventions identified to address this challenge. We start off with, the, for the project because it's supported, we start off with the African leafy vegetables, but we will also have other commodities like skuma wiki, cabbage, plus other perishable produce that we can get uh, from farmers. But what is important for us is also ensuring that whatever we're getting to sell here is high quality produce. You remember, University also has a farm. So we also produce, uh, you know, these vegetables, both exotic and, uh, and indigenous. 
In the long run, the hub is expected to create an urban market linkage to ensure better profits for smallholder farmers and help reduce post-harvest losses in the supply chain. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Low on cash to purchase farm inputs such as certified seeds, fertilizers or insecticides? Get a financial boost from Equity to endeleza your farming business. Simply dial star 247 hash, use Equity mobile app, your Equity line or visit any Equity branch to apply and get a loan today.